Hello and uh, welcome to another video. This week is going to be slightly different. Um, I put out to a few vloggers, uh, a few YouTubers, uh, whether they'd fancy doing a bit of a challenge. Um, reason being is I'm getting a bit stagnant, um, being stuck at home, walking around the canal and the river and stuff out local to where I am. And I wanted a bit of inspiration to find something interesting and something different to do. There's 101 videos you can be making about lenses, about technical things, apertures, all sorts of stuff. But loads of people are doing it and I wanted to be different. So I put out to a few vloggers about doing a challenge. And the first one that's actually got back to me is this guy on the screen here, Mr. Steve Stan Staines. Now he's part of our Landscape Vlogography Adventures, the LVA group. Uh, he's been a member for quite some time. He's been a vlogger for quite a few years as well, apparently. And uh, he's only on about 500 subscribers. So I thought, yeah, let's do a bit of a challenge with him. Let's see if we can give him a bit of a boost up and uh, get a few viewers on his side. So I asked him if he could send me a clip and uh, this is the clip he sent me. I've been talking to Paul Compton over the internet and uh, he's come up with a plan of setting a challenge. So after some thought, uh, I've come up with a couple of challenges and the first one I think I'm going to set him is I want him to go out, pick one subject, whether it's a tree, building, just one subject, um, but I want him to get three quality images from it. Now he can go out any time, he can go out more than once to the same place, whether he wants to take a sunrise, sunset image, whatever, different day, a foggy day, a snowy day. Um, and take three different images, uh, different camera settings, focal lengths, etc. Different lenses, but it's got to be of the same subject. So, look forward to seeing that, Paul, and um, I'll see how you get on. Um, and I'm sure he'll put some quality images together. I'm sure of it. So, uh, good luck with that, Paul and I look forward to seeing the end results. So, there you go, there you have it. Uh, the challenge is uh, pick one location, <clears throat> one subject, and photograph it in three different ways. So, that got me to thinking of another comment I got from a, it was actually on the LVA group from a person on there, um, to give me some suggestions and ideas of what to do for videos. And um, he came up with something like, what do I do about, what do I do in this, in, in you know, to, to work out where I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna shoot? Well, in all fairness, I don't do a lot of that. But on this particular one occasion, I'm going to. So I'm gonna flick over onto the computer and find my mouse where it is. And um, yeah, what we've got is the OS map open in front of us. And as you can see, I live in the town of Nantwich. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live, but it's somewhere around this location over here. So, we live in the town in Antwich, so what have we got in our local area? Where can I walk to? What can I do? What can I pick one subject for? So, I thought we've got a church in the middle of the town, and we've also got a church up at Acton, and we've got this little windmill type thing as well. So, I took a screenshot of this image, and uh, I can draw on it and show you what I'm doing then. So let's drop that down out of the way. This is our screenshot. Let's go into edit, draw. Right, so we've got our screenshot, we've got our Nantwich, we've got our church, we've got number one church there, we've got number two church up there at Acton, and we've all got, also got this windmill thing up on the left-hand side there. Now, I've shot this little windmill thing a couple of times. Um, I've got a really nice sunrise of it, or sunset it was when I, um, come home from work, I saw the sky was quite nice, and I work up at this area, so I just drove down and uh, took a picture. If I can find it, I will put it up on the screen right now for you, <laughs> but it's a long time ago when I had that image, and I'm not sure where it is in my archives. So anyway, that's that. So let's go get back out of these. So we've got the church in the town, this one here. That's fine, I could probably get on the field, and uh, I could probably set up and get a shot across the little uh, field in front of it. I could maybe, you know, get me drone out and uh, get an aerial shot down there. And I could probably take something 
of an evening shot, maybe a, a slight different angle, sort of night time, maybe that sort of way. But that's not so easy because it's right in the town. I'm a little bit limited to space and distance, so it'll, it'll be on a wide lens. Uh, so my other fair is one up at Acton. So we're looking up at this area up here, and uh, I've got a couple of ideas. On the way to work, I drive this road. So I come up around this road every single day of the week. And uh, from this point here, this point here, you get a really nice shot across the field to the steeple of the church. So I'm thinking number one, we set up the camera somewhere around here. We put the long lens on, which gives part of the challenge using a different lens, and we shoot a long shot of the church. So that's my first plan. The second plan is I've just done my A2 CFC for my drone. So I'm going to get my drone up, put it up in the air above Acton, and I'm going to get a nice aerial shot looking down on the church coming down this way. So that's two different shots, two different drones, or two different cameras, if you like, two different lenses, very wide angle aerial shot, and a long fields on a long zoom shot. And then I think the other image I'm going to do is I'm going to get down really close to one of the graves down here, and uh, I'm going to shoot wide on the church to get a nice wide shot of the church this way. Now, because I like to put my spin on it, and he's given me a challenge for three images, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap those three after that and I'm going to take a nighttime shot, the same again of a wide nighttime shot here. And I'm also going to probably try and get a shot from inside the church in the graveyard, somewhere around here, looking back at the church. Now, whether it's a daytime or a nighttime, I'm not sure. So I'm going to get five images, I think, all told. So that's the plan. Uh, with the drone, I could maybe get the drone out and um, fly it maybe up above the church, come up over the top and get a, a nice shot looking straight down on it as well. So there's another spin on it. So it gives me more scope to do something with this church up at Acton. So that's my plan. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head up. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to come up probably up the canal. I'm going to probably head up the canal. I'll take a walk up to Acton, have a bit of a scope for this area here, walk up around the church, have a bit of a look in front of it there walk around the side, get in the churchyards, and I'm going to have a look from here just to weigh it up. And also while I'm there, I'm going to weigh up the fact of where I'm going to put my little drone. And I'll draw you another drone image because over here is nice and clear and open, but I want to be up over the town. So I'm going to have to fly up over the top somewhere up there. Uh, and also while I'm there, I'm going to make a way back through Dorford Hall and I'm going to come back round until I eventually get home somewhere down this area here. So that's my plan for this morning. I'll take you with me, show you a little bit of the planning, and I'll see you outside. Let's get ready. Right, so I'm coming up on my first location idea, and uh, I may just take a, a record shot with my camera to give you an idea of what it is I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it. So this is roughly the location where I am. I'm going to spin you around so you can have a look. So if you can see down there, I'm up on the Acton Road, that's Acton as I was showing you, just at the back there. And our church is slap bang in the middle, just there. So if I can get this right and get a long shot or even pin it between these two trees and uh, get a bit of sky in it, I do know that once a year or possibly twice a year, the, the moon rises above that. And that is a shot that I'm planning to get for a long, long time. So that's my first shot. I'm gonna take a record shot here, then move up around the road and uh, try and show you where it is on the other side. So camera out, everything on auto, F8, turn the camera on, single point of focus, we're going to zoom in, we're going to get the church in the middle and focus on the church, and we're just going to snap those two trees with the church in the middle. Simple as that. That's all I'm going to do, just a record shot, I'll show you the record shot, and then uh, let's move on. Come on, let's go. It is trying to snow as well. Next. All right, just coming up on my second location. Well, we're actually at the church now, so I'm going to flip you around, but this plan's been scuttled. <laughs> I'm going to show you why. So we have the church in front of us, as you can see, and uh, it's quite a nice little church, this. But look at this I saw here. We've got some maintenance going on. So I'm going to have to work around that, aren't I? But I think my plan 
would be for something like this getting down nice and low maybe hiding the works like that getting down nice and low I can hide this horrible building stuff behind this gravestone and then get a picture of the church now I know the church is lit up at night and this would look amazing lit up at night so I'm just going to take a record shot here and have a walk around and see if I can find a few more images right so camera out I think the idea of doing it this way showing you what I'm going to do and where I'm going to shoot is that I can come back without the camera or without the uh the video camera I can come back and uh, shoot it at any time so what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to try f4 on the gravestone and I'm going to bracket this because I'm going to have to bracket this I'm going to try f4 on the gravestone hide in the horrible bits and pieces and do a bracket shot on that and I'm also going to do focus on the church and do the same thing because that way I should get the two images, one with this in focus, one with that in focus, and have a choice of between the two. So let me just move around and see if I can get another shot without that eyesore of the building work there. And this is definitely a quick way of doing this, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, let's go and have a look. So you can see I've come around the other side now and they're having quite a lot of building work here but look at this here they've had a brand new piece built on the side there and it doesn't look great at all does it so I think it's best to go back around the other side and try and shoot it the other side so I'm going to go up the front and see if I can hide that mess behind another gravestone and shoot it front on but not easy I mean I can try and come down and again hide it behind a gravestone sort of something like this but it's not ideal so I'm going to have a quick look around the other side, see if I can get another shot from around that way. But I think the one I first of all got, I think that's probably the best one. <laughs> all way laid plans, eh? Nothing goes to plan. Right, I think I've managed to find one that will work. I can get a few more gravestones in it now and uh, also hide it and get the church in. And again, I don't even know if I'm going to use these shots on. Oh, I might actually use these. I didn't bring the drone with me, but I can always come back and get the drone. But... Uh, yeah, these shots aren't bad because the sky is quite moody. I make it quite atmospheric. I'll spin you around and show you what I'm looking at. Right, so we're looking at this one now to hide the mess that's behind it. So we can get this in position and maybe balance it. And I can have this one sticking up this side and then the steeple sticking up the other side. So if I zoom in a little bit tighter, then I'll get a few grey stones as well in it. So that's the plan. I'm going to get this shot and that's another one to get home and think about. All right, so camera out, get myself in a position to hide all the mess, switch the camera on, like so, oh look at that, fantastic, I'm going to go F5, 6, and I'm going to focus on the grey stone at the beginning, and then I'm going to hit the shutter button, and then I'm going to do the same one again, I'm going to focus on the church, just to leave the grey stone a little bit more out of focus. Zoom in a little bit, tight crop, get it level, balance it on my knees. <laughs> I think that'll probably do. Alright, so I've actually got three shots, but I do want to get a drone shot and I think that'll be the best. But I haven't brought it with me, so I might come back later on this evening and get it all done in one day. Let's go home and have a look and see what these look like. And then, uh, yeah, I'll bring the drone down this evening maybe, and get a drone shot and a shot in the dark because this is all lit up really nice. So I'll see you later on. See you in a bit. So <laughs> I am back up at uh, Acton Church. So I brought the drone up with me. I've got it in my backpack and I've cycled up. Look, I brought my bike out. I've got it out there, got the cobwebs off it and give it a bit of a run for its money which is why I'm a bit out of breath. Now all I'm doing is weighing up the situation a little bit because it's a little bit windy and uh, it's trying to snow every so often. So I think I can manage it. The light's going down, so I don't know if I'm going to capture it in this one image, um, but I'm going to get it out quickly, put it up in the air, make sure it's in a safe area and get a couple of pictures of the, of the church from the air. So uh, hopefully one of them will work. And I've already processed the other images and they look pretty good. Right. <laughs> Speak to you in a bit. 
don't think we can do it. I think I'll have to leave it and come back another night. It's a bit cold, it's blowing the wind and it keeps trying to snow. We'll be back. I think I got the shot. I definitely think I got the shot. I managed to get the drone up in the air and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good from the air as well. The only problem is I've got all that horrible work going on in it, but uh, I think I've got it. So I'm going home for me tea. Oh, speed bump. I'll catch up with you soon when I do the night shot. Woohoo! <laughs> So as you can see I made it back and uh, the church is all lit up and I'm just standing by one of the big bright lights underneath at the moment just so you can see, you can see me and film it um, but I got the shot and it looks pretty good so I'm going to make my way back across down here because Mrs C run me up so I'm just going to see if there's one more shot just before I get back into the car and we take our daughter to work so I'm going to have a quick look there's another light so you can see me uh, I'm going to have a quick look and then uh, we're off so I'm just taking one or two more shots from the other side of the church just so I've got a slightly different angle on it all. Um, but Steve, this is the challenge. You laid it out to me. I think I've completed it for you. I've got three different images, or at least I've got five different images, different times of the day, different light conditions, different angles and different styles. So uh, over to you, sir. Let's have a look and see what you come up with. And uh, hopefully I've completed the challenge. If someone else wants to do a challenge with us, yeah, bring it on. Let's have a see what you can got up, what you can come up with, and uh, just be prepared for me to return the challenge to you. I've got a couple of ideas of my own if you want me to come up with them, and uh, I can soon do that. But yeah, till next time, enjoy these last few images. Please let me know in the comments below which ones you prefer and how well you think I did. And uh, yeah, till next time, ciao for now. I've really enjoyed today. See ya.